Uh, well, there were uh, two major attacks uh, in different parts of Afghanistan today in the morning. The first one was a suicide bl blast at the entrance of a military base in Ghazni province. Uh, the explosion actually took place at 7.30 a.m. local time. And according to uh, local security uh, officials uh, on the site uh, at the military base, there was a military-style vehicle that was uh, full of explosive and explosives, uh, explosives and was detonated at the entrance of, of the public protection unit base in the Ghazni uh, city, killing more than a couple of dozen security forces personnel. Then there was another attack that took took place in the Zabul province uh, in the eastern in the southeastern part of Afghanistan where uh, there uh, where there was a suicide blast on a convoy of the head of the provincial council uh, the suicide bomber actually detonated himself uh, on the roadside while the convoy was when, while the convoy of the provincial uh, council head was passing by Despite some clashes between demonstrators and police, this protest in Paris was largely peaceful. Thousands of people gathered in the centre of the city to rally against part of a planned law that would crack down on people's freedom to film and publish images of police on duty. The French government says it would protect the identity of police officers. Those here say it's an erosion of rights. The protest comes just days after the broadcast of this shocking video. A black music producer brutally beaten by police. And earlier in the week, an inquiry was opened after some officers were filmed beating migrants and journalists as police cleared a migrant camp. Without such videos, people here say some police officers could act with impunity. Mission accomplished, so they say. These images released by the Ethiopian military claim to show its troops marching on Mekele. The army now says it has captured the city, capital of the country's separatist Tigray region, without civilian casualties. The government says it's freed some 7,000 federal troops who had been taken prisoner and is now proceeding to hunt down leaders of the rebel Tigray People's Liberation Front. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed calling it the end of National Defense Forces operations in the region. The TPLF says Mekele had come under heavy bombardment in recent days. Last weekend, the national government issued a warning that the city would be shelled indiscriminately unless rebels laid down their arms. Tigrayan leader Debrechen Gebra Michael says his forces intend to continue fighting, telling Reuters this is about defending our right to self-determination. At its widest part, it stretches for some 250 kilometers. And at its narrowest, it's a mere 33 kilometer hop over the English Channel. But it's a hop across one of the world's busiest shipping lanes that the UK and France now want to make completely unviable for illegal migrants. This new package today that I have just signed with my French counterpart, the French Interior Minister, effectively doubles the number of police on the French beaches. It invests in more technology, so more surveillance, more radar technology that supports a law enforcement effort. There have been several deals agreed to between Paris and London to solve this problem in the past, like the one signed in Calais back in July to combat people smugglers. Now, the UK and France have agreed to shell out 31.4 million euros on their latest stack of measures.
Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Beyond, where in a shocking statement, this is something that was said by Hong Kong's chief executive, Carrie Lam, where she claimed that she keeps piles of cash at home because she has no bank account after the United States imposed sanctions on her over the crackdown on free speech and political freedoms in the city. In an interview to a local news channel, Carrie Lam, who is the chief executive of Hong Kong, has said that she has been using cash completely, no debit cards, no credit cards whatsoever, after Washington targeted Carrie Lam and 14 other senior officials with sanctions. Now, these are the U.S.'s toughest measures on Carrie Lam since China imposed a controversial national security law on the city earlier this year. The number of newly reported COVID-19 cases in the U.S. topping 200,000 for the first time in a single day, it's happening on Friday. Uh, the nation also logging more than 1,400 deaths. The total number of infections in the U.S. surpassing 13 million. And while a vaccine has yet to be approved by the FDA, United Airlines is already laying the groundwork for quick distribution. The airline began operating charter flights Friday to get doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine in position. The South Korean government has declared all parts of the country at risk and is taking extraordinary measures after a highly pathogenic bird flu was reported on Friday at a poultry farm for the first time in more than two and a half years. The Minister of Agriculture, Kim hyun soo said in a briefing on Sunday that the virus of the type H5N8 was most likely transmitted to ducks at a local farm by migratory birds from Siberia. The minister said the virus is not currently being transmitted to humans. On Friday, a nationwide standstill for all livestock facilities was declared for 48 hours and in the area near the affected farm for seven days. Bird flu response headquarters have been set up at local governments across the country, which are carrying out disinfection work and monitoring for violations. Those breaking the rules, the government says, will face strict punishment. Down, 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 and maybe down just a little further. You're looking at the deepest pool in the world. It's called, appropriately enough, Deep Spot. It recently opened not far from the Polish capital of Warsaw. So how deep is Deep Spot? 45 and a half meters. That's 147 feet deep. The surrounding pool is open to swimmers at every skill level. But if you want to go deep, there's a concrete tube for that. It even has simulated caves and ruins for training, scuba gear recommended. Curious but less adventurous visitors can also stay dry in the pool's viewing tunnel. Deep Spot takes the deepest title from a 42 meter deep pool located in Italy. But the Polish pool won't be deepest for long. Where it is, there's a pool under construction in England that will be 50 meters deep. 